Um, so good evening, everyone. Today we are presenting our project, the Survey Insider. The Survey Insider is a system we built that for uh, for a user to quickly review the responses he receives for a survey question. As the number of responses grows larger and larger, we believe that it will be time consuming and human resource intensive to manually review all those responses. So Survey Insider is able to provide a quick overview of all responses. We believe this project is of great importance because it can greatly improve the efficiency for re survey revealing and save a lot of human effort. The data set we use for this project is um, a, a safety training survey from CAMH and the size is about 550 responses. The data was provided for us, and we, we did some pre-processing, including filtering out empty responses, decontraction, and then we do manual labeling and three test splits. We noticed that there are some issues with the data set. Uh, one of them is, is quite imbalanced. We noticed that over 50% 50, 50 of people, they are actually responding with similar opinion or, or topics. And also, there are some irrelevant responses, such as, thank you, um, good job, or this is a good survey, or something similar. Here we show an example of our data set. The survey question is, how do you intend to use what you learned in this training? And here are some answers we drawn from the um, data set file. OK, I will talk about the architecture of our project. First, we take uh, the response data in CSV format, and then we feed it to the, our text summarizer, which is a pre-trained uh, uh, model fine-tuned by us. Uh, it will generate some uh, summaries, and based on these summaries, we use the uh, topic classifiers, which is also a pre-trained model fine-tuned by us. And it will classify the summaries into six uh, predefined topics. Yeah, next slide. Uh, for the baseline, for summarization task, we use text rank. And for classification tag, we use uh, decision trees. <coughs> Next slide. Uh, so we have two main models. Uh, they are all pre-trained models from Hugging Face. Uh, for summarization, uh, we use Bart Large X Exxon from Facebook. It's, uh, it, it, it is a transformer-based uh, model pre-trained on extreme sum data sets. For classification, we use uh, the still based uncased uh, model, which is a smaller and faster version of BIRDS. And we also attach the hyperparameters and number of parameters of the models. Excellent. Uh, here we show a comparison between uh, of qualitative result between our baseline model and main model for the um, summarization task. So the input data is a combination of 10 single responses. And we can see that the baseline model actually outputs a summary of approximately the same length, but our main model is able to achieve a more, a shorter and more concise summary. And also, if um, you take a closer look, then the structured sentences inside the output of the main model is, is much shorter and more effective. But the baseline output uh, has a lot of long and hard to read sentences. We also compare the qualitative result for our classification task between the baseline and main model. So, so here we pick an input data, which is just a single response. And we see that the baseline model has classified it into label one, which means how to deal with aggressive patients. But in fact, this uh, response is, is actually talking about how to safely and correctly apply restraints to patients. So we'll talk about quantitative results of our models. For summarization models, we were comparing the average rogue scores. Uh, so we use a test set containing 50 single responses with its corresponding uh, labels, which is a hand-labeled summaries. And uh, uh, I, I attached uh, the three rogue scores of baseline as well as the main model. And you can see that the baseline achieve a higher rogue score because our, our baseline is extractive uh, uh, models. Uh, and rogue score are comparing the uh, overlap between the input and the targets. So we haven't really thought of a good way to measure the abstractive summarization task. And for the topic classification models, uh, we use uh, 200 responses and its labels of which topic it belongs to. And for the baseline, we achieve average accuracy of 54%. And our models can achieve 68% uh, uh, accuracies. Um, this is what our final output would look like. 
to test that, we input 50 single um, text responses. And you can see that the model is able to generate a table. And inside this table, each column represents one topic. For example, the first column rep represents the topic, how to safely and correctly apply restraints to patients. With, together with a percentage stating how many people are responding under that topic. And if the reviewer wants to take a further look on what people are actually saying under this topic, then he can just go to the summary section. So we believe that um, this, our result is reasonable, and the survey insider is able to summarize well from the uh, original responses without lo losing too much information. You can then classify the responses correctly most of the time at an accuracy of around 70%. And we believe that it will help CMH staff to gain quick insights from their future survey responses. Um, some reflections include the um, first the uh, summarization approach. So inside this project, we use the summarization approach to get rid of duplicate, irrelevant, or uh, responses. So, but this has caused some some loss in information from the original responses. Uh, other reflections include better hand labeling and. Uh, uh, we could do supervised topic modeling instead of doing classification because classification requires us to have pre-labeled um, classes, but topic modeling can just extract topics from the uh, original responses. Thank you. Thank you.